Tell me condition of green energy in Bihar. What about the nuclear energy? Can it be used or can it be called as clean energy? Have you studied economic survey of Bihar? Mm -hmm. So tell us three, four important features of the economy of Bihar. गुड आफ्टरनून बैठिए अपना परिचय दीजिए माय नेम इज प्रभाशंकर मिश्रा आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय इंजीनियरिंग इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र आफ्टर दैट आई स्टार्टेड माय करियर इन द भारतीय एयरटेल एज ए नेटवर्क डिजाइन इंजीनियर एंड प्रेजेंटली आई एम वर्किंग on a ethanol project in the green, inland green energy private limited ramgarh jharkhand sir mm -hmm. so ethanol project huh? uh, the inland green energy yes huh? and uh, you are associated since 2022 yeah ramgarh jhansi since 2022 yes in 22 yeah. yes sir so even uh, tell me condition of green energy in bihar bihar government also came out with the ethanol projects in the purnia and that is a grain based project and second one is the gopal ganj and third one is the ara mm -hmm. that is the uh, according to the uh, uh, the economic survey uh, it will be the largest um, ethanol project into the asia mm -hmm. and uh, other green initiatives initiatives are the solar uh, power projects in the darbhanga uh, they started the uh, paneling of different solar plants mm -hmm. and uh, uh hydel projects were also in the uh, like the dagmara in the supol they came out with the new initiative so how uh, energy is produced from ethanol ethanol is is a blending material for the petrol and the diesel and uh, it will when it uh, it will mix blend with the petrol it will reduce the pollution contents like the carbon monoxide of internal combustion engine mm -hmm. and if you are going through the blend up of 20% sorry 50% of the ethanol then the two wheeler will be reduced by 50% the carbon monoxide and four wheeler will be reduced the 30% of carbon monoxide mm -hmm. so what is the total production of energy in bihar overall energy production in bihar oh, sorry sir you don't have the idea about that what are the important uh, thermal power stations in the bihar sir yes in important bihar important is sir uh, national ntpc kahalgaon second one is the bard hmm. ntpc bard and uh, gopalganj also having the and uh, hydroelectric power in the uh, on the koshi that is the nepal barrage in the 1954 and uh, dagmara project of hydroelectric mm -hmm. and uh, other thermal power stations are on the stage of gopalganj sir there is a new thermal power is planned sir. okay you are from saharsa yes sir if uh, we assess saharsa on the basis of area as well as population where we, we would uh, like to place it out of those total districts uh, in the comparison of total districts sir hmm. saharsa is on the the 17th And what is sure. the total pop population and total area? I am not sure. Sir. Yeah, you don't have. Uh, but idea. I know that uh, total population is nineteen lakhs and total area is seventeen hundred kilometers square. Seventeen hundred kilometers. How many blocks are there in Saharsa area? That is the entire district. The uh, four blocks are there. Sir. Four blocks. Uh, do you have any idea what aspirational blocks? Yes, sir. What is this uh, aspirational block? The government came out with the initiative. to improve the status of different blocks on the um, basis of uh, connectivity on the basis of education and on the basis of the social and welfare development mm -hmm. they divided the aspirational blocks on the line of the aspirational district of the central government of india why mahishi is important mahishi yes, mm -hmm. it is uh, mahishi is the village of mandan mishra and second is the tara mata vidya tara mata peeth sir mm -hmm. and uh, Uh, Mandan Mishra was uh, famous for the um, Dasahastrath with the Sankracharya at that time when Sankracharya was on the on the way of the Vishwa Vijay, oh, sorry Bharat Vijay sir. At that time he came to Mahesi, 
and he was uh, defeated by the mandan misra in the sastrat sir defeated by mandan misra or mandan misra, wife of mandan misra you don't have the idea of that um, sorry sir sankrat has almost defeated mandan misra but uh, mandan misra was rescued by oh, wife, his sir. wife his wife are you not aware of the name of bharti yes ha huh? then you should have talked about bharti okay no problem who is ugrtara ugrtara pit is there in mercy sir so who is ugrtara sir no idea sir. you don't have any idea what tara goddess tara no sir okay a last question from my side there is a sun temple in that particular area that's quite near to mercy what is the place of that name uh, name of that place that is uh, sun temple sir kandaha you don't have the idea kandaha no I don't you see. don't have the idea about that otherwise tell me about the sun temples in other parts of india sun temple uh, one is in the odisha yes and the second one is the jammu and kashmir and mm-hmm. third one in the gujarat sir okay there are three sun temple in the ancient history okay prabhashankar prabhashankar yes ma'am have you heard of valmi water and land management institute no sir no you have no issues you know the term net zero waste yes ma'am so what exactly it is and what is the target till when we have to achieve this a net zero waste means the removal of the total wastage and uh, what is the target target is by the 2030 maybe sir. it's very near yes, i can't remember. you have to look into it okay see uh, today today the time is uh, towards urbanization right and fastest growing economy india is so how do you see the role of uh, clean energy or you can say nuclear energy right in india what is the scope uh, presently i am working on the ethanol project ma'am it is also a type of clean energy okay and what about the nuclear energy can it be used or can it be called as clean energy uh, according means uh, on the basis of uh, amount of pollutant provided by the different energy sources the nuclear is uh, lesser means um, producing a lesser amount of pollutants in the environment but uh, same time the nuclear energy waste is also is a um, means uh, providing the uh, higher amount of uh, that nuclear waste providing the higher amount of um, that uh, wastage or pollutants onto the ground and the different if you are dumping the that uh, coolants and the different uh, uh, materials of the nuclear uh, nuclear energy by products mm-hmm. the oceanic Uh, contamination the water contamination and the land contamination is also the same thing okay so uh, it can't be absolutely called as clean energy i can't say that that it is uh, 100% okay. clean energy no issues what is namami gange project are you aware of this yes ma'am. what is it it was uh, the central government project and uh, started to rejuvenation and the and the uh, and to clear the flow or the increase the flow of the ganga river and uh, on the basis of that they came out with the plan to clean uh, the ganga on the uh, district wise and uh, and for that they came out with the uh, committee on the basis of but again uh, you know in some of the festivals it has been seen and observed that the people of this country the very citizen of this country they actually somewhere do not obey their duty right and somewhere government also fails in cleaning the uh, ganga so do you think that it is uh, right way or this uh, this project is implemented in the right spirit project is implemented in the right spirit one because government came out with the so so many initiatives like in the i belongs to bihar and there is a ghat in the patna and gaya uh, patna in the bhagalpur the means government came out with a number of steps they um, they provided the holdings they came out with the different volunteers to uh, promote the cleaning program okay how do you say that you are a proud bihari what are the things that makes you a proud bihari count me three bihar in the uh, from ancient time bihar is the uh, land of uh, various scholars okay and uh, i belongs to the um, the historical relevance you are talking about okay second and the people came out with the miss uh, middle class society from the bihar they are hard working and they are providing the maximum effort towards the but if they are hard working in terms of what in terms of labor market or they are at higher positions 
in the both sector ma'am on the labor market also uh, but largely bihari is taken as a you know sometimes in a negative connotation so how do you face it how do you challenge it miss on the basis of same way i can say that ma'am ki on the labor force also bihar supplying a highest amount of labor force into the india, india. and uh, same time on the higher post also the bihari came out with the very good uh, positions of the different parts of india organizations of india any uh, women participation and their uh, contribution in the workforce won't you count it or they are lagging much behind uh, definitely in the bihar ma'am the uh, women population is lagging in the um, workforce as well as in the education but government came out with the so many initiatives with the help of that that they are trying to empower the women on the same platform okay thank you prabha sir prabha shankar you worked in airtel until 2013 yes sir and you have mentioned that you picked up another job in 2022 yes sir what did you did do uh, in between no i was working uh, in between also sir but work from home as a freelancer sir as a business analyst in the different organizations sir from 13 to 22 13 to 20, 2019 sir before the corona okay yes sir and during corona you remained i was out of work uh, out of work sir. okay voluntarily uh, i was preparing for okay. this uh, what do you understand by labor force labor force um, is uh, according to the age calculation sir 15 the age between 15 to uh, 50 is a labor force in the peop- in the population uh, they are contributing into the Uh, GDP of a country is all the persons who are in the age group of fifteen to fifty are part of labor force, male or female, able-bodied or physically challenged, willing or unwilling. And they are mis uh, contribution. They are contributing into the. Uh, And what is workforce? Sorry. Sir. Okay. How do we define labor force participation rate of women? The total workforce in India. Uh, this define means sir what i that is how, which women we consider part of labor force and wh- how do we define their participation rate rate is a mathematical ratio or if you forget the definition can you tell us the exact data what exactly is labor force participation rate of women in india nowadays uh, exact i cannot recall sir but uh, uh, 51.24% into the Mm, urban area and uh, in the rural area there is a 29.8 percent okay uh, what are the health hazards of telecommunication network particularly different kinds of waves which are radiated by different kinds of instruments and machines yes sir uh, on the basis of the new technology that is a 5g came into the india and it is on the verge of installation in the different part of india the wave that is the frequency division multiplexing sir a type of communication with the help of that the radio signals and uh, the other communication signals at the same time providing the health hazard like the uh, like the miss uh, heartbeat disturbance and like the it miss uh, impact on the brain frequency also and uh, same time uh, the the uh, regular communication between the uh, installed tower and the mobile there is a uh, regular miss impact onto the body different tissues and the different uh, functioning of the body parts so do we have some regulatory norm in place uh, government came out with the um, uh, new norms like the installation of tower they fixed the places where the tower will be installed they came out with the distance between the uh, residential and area and the installation places And still, we see very many towers installed on the building, the residential building itself. Are they violating the legal norms? Uh, so many places, I can say that they are violating the legal norms, sir. Because government came out in the 2019 only the regulation and that uh, they have to remove these kind of towers from the buildings in the residential areas, and uh, they must install onto the um, uh, near about the agricultural and the uh, barren lands. But uh, still, these kind of things prevalent into the. so we can blame the administration particularly police administration which is not enforcing the law uh, so many places uh, still the regulation and the government uh, came out with the regulation but the regulation that uh, uh, 
uh, legal status is not in implemented into the particular region in so many places the lose um, is uh, that administration Laxity also. is there on the part of administration okay uh, have you studied economic survey of bihar no it is so tell us three four important features of the economy of bihar economy of, of uh, first is the um, bihar came out with the um, fiscal deficit that is 2.98% and according to you are talking about budget you are talking about budget the fiscal deficit yes, i am i am interested in overall economy of bihar uh, so means the according to frbm act sir uh, government came out with that uh, the state must maintain the fiscal deficit below the 3% so bihar came out with the uh, uh, it is well, that is it is well within the legal framework legal, yes, okay. second one is the um, gs uh, government uh, central government uh, distribution of gst sir so no no uh, tell us what is the structure of the production of economy bihar what is the share of G agriculture industry services okay prim primary sector sir is uh, um, is uh, primary sector secondary sector and tertiary tertiary performing the most uh, better that is the uh, approximate 29.8% sir okay and the primary sector is 19.6% uh, and uh, tertiary sector sorry secondary sector is uh, about to uh, 9% and okay what is occupational structure what percent of workforce is engaged in agriculture and what percent is engaged in non agriculture sector oh, sorry sir i just figured what is average productivity of workers in bihar as measured through per capita income productivity sir i cannot per capita income in bihar per capita income is 42000 54223 and for entire india it is uh, for entire india sir that is it is do we have almost similar income in bihar or it is far less compared to national average it is less than national average slightly less or far less slightly less slightly less okay what is poverty ratio in bihar what percent of people there are below poverty line no idea at all recently niti aayog published a report on multi dimensional poverty index yes. have you gone through no. as per that mpi index which state is having lowest poverty ratio and which state is having highest poverty ratio lowest poverty ratio is kerala that's true and highest poverty rate is in bihar sir mm -hmm. so what is the data for kerala oh, sorry, sir. what percent of people in kerala are below poverty line oh, sorry sir data is no idea at all no, sir. have you also gone through this export index which is published by niti aayog yes sir and uh, which state is having the highest export index highest export index is tamil nadu sir and lowest and uh, lowest export index i can't say bihar's value uh, maybe on sir 19th place okay and who is the chief first chief minister of bihar first chief minister of bihar is uh, sir krishn singh can you tell us three or four major industries from bihar who have earned a name at the world level industrialist con con any they are running mnc yes, okay thank you prof well you have studied mathli yes sir tell me some uh, uh, some importance of mathli lit literature highlights of mathli literature uh, mathli literature is a uh, related to the mythologism mm -hmm. of uh, bihar and uh, even miss out of mithila region also it is prevalent into the different uh, districts like the bhagalpur and up to the bhojpur area do you have any so, periods in mithila literature for example yes that mm -hmm. is the prachin kal madhya kal and adhunik kal sir and the prachin kal i can define on the basis of the um uh, say creation of the varn ratnakar mm -hmm. and the uh, madhya kalin is avat on the basis of uh, the kirti lata and kirti pataka of uh, vidyapati ji mm -hmm. and uh, adhunik kal is uh, sri jaykant misr and uh, chanda jha and they came out with the division of this mythical literature different okay. uh, do you have any idea about uh, female authors in mythical literature no so you don't have any idea about them do you have any idea about uh, sahit academy yes in mythical literature yes uh, so who are the latest winners of sahit academy in 2023 hmm. uh, that uh, mr azad mm -hmm. uh, he uh, he is having the pen drive mein prithvi mm -hmm. 
and he won the uh, Mr. Ajit Ajit ji. Ajit Ajit ji. And uh, between 2002 to 2000, almost uh, 18, five uh, female authors they have won Sahit Academy. You don't have any idea about them. In the Sahit Academy, no, sir. no idea. Uh, even outside Sahit Academy, you don't have the idea. Not even a single female author. You never uh, think about them. Uh, just tell me about the policies of Bihar government for empowerment of women. Name five policies. First one is the um, is the horizontal reservation of the Bihar government for the women. That is the thirty five percent into the education and jobs. Hmm. Second one is the fifty percent reservation in the Panchayati Raj institutions for the different elections, and, uh, and third one is the uh, Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana. Hmm. And uh, fourth one is the uh, what is Kanya Uthan Yojana? Do you have this kind of program? Yes, sir. What is that? Kanya Uthan Yojana is a uh, for the financial assistance uh, of uh, approximate thirty uh, four thousand one hundred rupees hmm. uh, towards the um, up to the twelfth of uh, standard of the woman of the Bihar. Sir. Uh, you also travel, huh? That's your hobby. Now tell me about some of the tourist uh, circuits or tourism circuit from Bihar. Important. And this is the uh, one Ramayana circuit. Is uh, they are connecting from the Jayanagar. Uh, they pass through the Bihar also. And uh, second, second one is the uh, Shiv Shakti circuit also of the Bihar government, in which the Tara Pit is also connect. Um, Uh, the part of that uh, Shiv Shakti, mm -hmm. uh, and third one is the Buddha Circuit, sir, in the Bihar, the Central Government project. These three, sir. Just name few uh, places uh, associated with Buddha Circuit. Uh, that is the Vaisali and uh, um, Rajgri. These two. Uh, just two. You should remember some more places, much more important places. And that is um, Buddha Circuit, sir. That is a uh, Rajgiri, and uh, second one is the Bishali um, district, and third one is the in the Nalanda. Different parts are also there. Uh, who is your most favorite uh, volleyball player? In the present situation of India, sir, volleyball is not so much into the limelight. But the Mirtunjay Kumar playing from the Bihar, mm -hmm. I saw sometimes, sir, during the, that days when I was uh, the captain of Maharashtra team, sir. Otherwise, uh, which country is uh, almost uh, champion in this game, volleyball? Yes. You don't have idea. Okay, Prabha, your interview is over. You can go now. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Yes, come in. Sit here. प्रभा आप क्या पहन के जाएंगे सर इसके ऊपर ब्लेजर ब्लेजर पहन के टाई भी पहनेंगे जी सर ठीक है प्रभा ये आपका जो फेसियल ये है इस पर कुछ प्रॉब्लम हुआ है क्या हाँ सर ये एक्सीडेंट था एक सर एक्सीडेंट था किस तरह का एक्सीडेंट था ये घर में एलपीजी से एलपीजी का ये है और लीकेज थे घर में सर अच्छा तो आई वॉज देयर टू बॉयल द मिल्क सर हाँ हाँ तो लाइटर के साथ ही घर में आग लग गई थी अच्छा तो कितने दिन में आप ठीक हुए ऑलमोस्ट वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स तो ये हो सकता है पूछा जाए आपसे ऑनलाइन तो इसमें मतलब दो चीज़ मुझे बता दीजिए एक तो जो जब ऐसा हुआ उसके बाद आप रिकवर कर रहे थे तो आपको डिप्रेशन भी हुआ नो no, सर नहीं हुआ बस गुड और डॉक्टर्स ने क्या कहा एक दो साल के बाद आप ठीक हो जाएंगे एट दैट टाइम सर और राइट नो उन्होंने बोला था कि हाँ रिकवर होंगे इट विल टेक टाइम एंड ऑल ये किस ईयर की बात है ये 2004 सर अच्छा तो बहुत पहले की बात है उसके बाद आपने फिर जॉब सब ज्वाइन किया और कम्प्लीट किया चलिए कोई बात नहीं है तो नेचुरली यू हैव अंडर गॉन दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रामा बट यू केम वॉट सक्सेसफुली और अच्छा भी मतलब एक तरह से यूर All, uh, already there in the job, mm -hmm. and also trying to improve yourself. Okay, 
प्रोहब यू बिलोंग टू सहरसा एरिया जनरली दे आस क्वेश्चन अबाउट बिहार एंड वेरियस आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ बिहार whether it is history or society economy culture all the fields economy is also very important uh, but at the same time when you reply naturally your reply will also come from your own district that is from sarsa because you are much more acquainted with that yes yeah? so uh, have a better idea about sarsa you talked about mandanness and bharti so have a better idea yes even uh, your ugitara temple is there may see then kandaha that is sun temple that is also there so you should be aware of those things then uh, like uh, some questions were asked that is regarding net zero waste so uh, don't make any guess yes. if you are uh, sure about that is uh, it is a uh, 270 uh, uh, if you are aware of that it is 270 not 230 240 something like that. so uh, never make a guess unless until it is uh, asked from you uh, then also when the question was asked about the role of nuclear energy so then you uh, because already you had explained about ethanol in energy that you were working while talking to me so uh, at that time try to be to the point you should have talked about nuclear energy uh, not uh, Uh, repeat uh, finally again. yes that is of no use so uh, uh, then uh, namami gange a proud bihari now proud bihari you made some statements but uh, um, you should be more forthcoming try to remember some the very very important field and then come out with that otherwise your answers were good uh, then women workforce questions were asked from you then even about labor force participation of uh, women now regarding your uh, economic survey of bihar you started uh, talking highlighting uh, budget and other things so it is economic survey of bihar and when uh, these kind of questions are asked you will have to make general statement which uh, has been uh, like made clear to you that is primary sector or secondary sector tertiary sector and that is the harsh condition of poison then also uh, regarding health hazards and those things uh, your answers were good but uh, have a very good idea about all the economic program policies of bihar government mm-hmm. and second important thing that is uh, since your district that is also bihar's economy is uh, agrarian in nature so your saharsa district uh, even that is agrarian in that is having a agrarian economy he doesn't have many industries as such mm-hmm. uh, so uh, be uh, have idea about that but uh, even in those areas or districts we do have polytechnics so also learn something about their role role of polytechnics uh, that is uh, important even in the context of sahasa then mythly literature and you don't have any idea about any female author yes. and, uh, that is a negative thing okay and even you don't know the name of any of the female uh, at least two or three not if all the female authors uh, traveling it's all right volleyball volleyball like uh, mithunjay kumar and uh, singh uh, the, when the question is asked to you you should say sir i don't have the idea about that no sir it is uh, not very popular uh, so from bihar uh, and then uh, ask about the international level about the country then uh, you have no reply so if you have uh, opted for any hobby uh, that is not your hobby as such uh, you have just uh, for this examination uh, you have uh, taken volleyball okay but at least have some of the idea that is from state from india both male and female and finally the international level okay yes so any question from your side thanks okay all the best so uh, are you, uh, are you more uh, confident uh, speaking in hindi or english english only sir english okay all the best thanks. thank you thank you sir